so we have discussed the sign test for one sample the next test is nothing but sign test for two samples two samples means either they may be paired or they may be independent what do you mean by paired samples paired samples means whenever we have two samples with equal sizes we call those as paired samples means equal number of observations on both the samples independent samples means independent samples means x1 x2 xn1 and y1 y2 yn1 this is the difference between paired samples and independent samples so uh, the very first test in uh, uh, non parametric test is sign test sign test will have for two cases called for one sample and two samples you'll get the confusion that when do we have the paired samples and when should we use the independent samples so here the test which we are going to use is nothing but the title is sign test sign means as you have a little idea that we are the test statistic is based on the number of signs so to 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 identify the number of signs you should have the differences if it is a one sample uh, case what we are doing how we are finding the different uh, differences you are subtracting if it is a one sample case am i right what you are how do you calculating the differences you are doing xi minus median am i right for one sample case uh, under sign test to identify the number of signs to use as the test statistic we are calculating the differences xi minus m not but for the sign test for two samples also we are going to use the test statistic as the minimum of positive and negative signs only but how do you find the differences means for two sample case we are not going to use this xi minus m not to identify the signs moreover we are going to use this called xi minus yi means you will be given let us say that you are given two samples x comma y so you are going to find the differences called di is equal to xi minus yi for one sample means we are using this called xi minus median whenever we have two samples we are not going to focus on um, we are not going to focus on median moreover to identify the signs we are going to find the difference of both the samples so if you want to find the differences you should if there are 10 observations here means you should have equal number of observations so you can find the difference of these two these two and you should have equal number of observations to find the differences and to identify the signs so here we should use the paired samples only whenever we have unequal number of uh, values here like like if you have on x 10 observations on y we have y observation five observations means we cannot find the differences let us say that if you are given data like this this is a dash here we are not going to call this as a paired samples so we cannot find the 2 minus 1 we are okay 4 minus 2 we are okay but 6 minus dash we don't have the difference here so for sign test for two samples to obtain the test statistic we should have the signs of the differences the differences are not obtained here as xi minus median moreover they are obtained as the difference of the two samples so to find out the difference of the two samples you should have equal number of observations on both the samples so if you should, you should if you have the equal number of observations we call those as paired samples i think you got a little clarity that why we use paired samples for sign test so you should specify that likewise the one sample test how do you start the procedure means you should specify that let x1 x2 xn comma y1 y2 yn be paired samples 
how many samples we have this has the one sample and this is another samples paved samples drawn from two different populations in the previous uh, sign test for one sample we wrote the procedure like let x1 as we have only one sample there let x1 x2 xn be a sample drawn from a population with pdf fx but here as we have two different samples we are going to collect even though sample sizes are same, we are going to collect from two different populations. So we are going to write the PDF of the first distribution is fx, the fx, f1x and f2y. What do you need to write? Let x1, x2, xn, y1, y2, yn be the paid samples drawn from two different populations with, if there are two different populations, you know that they will have two different PDFs. If it is from normal means it will have another PDF. If it is from exponential means it will have different form of PDF. So we are going to write that two different samples are drawn from two PDFs F1X and F2Y. Now you should write after specifying that I think you know that the null hypothesis is the next step here. So if it is a one sample for sign test as I said you that if it is a one sample there is no change in the null hypothesis called H0 such that M is equal to M0. If it is two sample case the null hypothesis will be F1 the two PDFs are C which means that the samples are drawn from the same population. What is the null hypothesis if it is a two sample case? The null hypothesis is that the two samples are drawn from two samples are drawn from same population. Actually they are drawn from different population. We are going to test the hypothesis that whether the two samples are drawn from the same population or not. If they are drawn from the same population I think they should have the same PDF which means that H0 such that F1X is equal to F1Y that is the null alternative hypothesis will be F1X not equal to F2Y. So this is the common null hypothesis for two sample. Okay, what is the null hypothesis when it is a single sample? H0 such that M is equal to M0 is the common null hypothesis for one sample test in non-parametric tests. What is the null hypothesis for paired or independent samples in non-parametric uh, non test is nothing but two samples as you have two sample case, two samples are drawn from same population that is symbolically H0 such that F1X is equal to F2Y and H1 is always rival to this F1X not equal to F2Y. After writing the null hypothesis, you should focus on the test statistic. To obtain the test statistic, okay, as this is the sign test, what is the title of the test here? Sign test. You should find the differences of DI is equal to XI minus YI. Okay, you should find out di is equal to xi minus yi. Then after finding the differences again, you observe the number of positive signs and number of same. Negative, the processor is same and number of zeros if any. Then you take u as the variable which is nothing but minimum of positive comma negative signs. As yeah, this is similar to the large sample case which is done means the test statistic is same. V follows n comma 1 by 2. If it is a large sample what is the test statistic? Z is equal to u minus expect the same no change u minus expectation of u by root or variance of u follows n 0 1. So to accept or reject you should compare mod z with z alpha by 2 which z alpha by 2 is nothing but critical value from standard normal. I will tell you this value while doing a numerical problem. You should compare mod z with z alpha by 2. Whenever mod z z alpha by 2 we accept h0. Whenever it is greater than z alpha by 2 we reject the null hypothesis. Means there is no change in the test statistic for normal for sign test one sample and two sample only the process the way of calculating the differences is different for one and sample one sample and two sample the test statistic and the decision remains same 
let us do a numerical problem on this. So, uh, from a college of 30 students, from a college, 30 students are drawn at random to test that uh, their talents, uh, two ta talent tests were conducted and you need to test that whether their talents are same or not using sign test. So, you are given with two samples, okay, from the same college, two samples of students were collected, each of size 30, okay, each of size 30 were con collected and So here from a college 30 students are drawn at random and two talent tests are conducted. The scores in the two tests were given below. Can we assume that their talents are same uh, in two tests according to the given data? Using sign test you should uh, select. So it is given to you that 30 students were selected. How many samples are there? The sample data using test 1 and Test 2. We are given 60 observations which are divided into 2 samples. So we have uh, 30 observations on each sample. You need to test that whether their talents are same or not using sign test. So the test is clearly mentioned to you. So you need to write, uh, you need to use the sign test here. So I'll write the uh, data here. So what is given to you? You are given with two different samples okay first let us start with the null hypothesis what is the null hypothesis that the question here is nothing but can we assume that the talents of the students are same so you should write the talents are same in both the tests so as you are given with two samples always this comes under this is the null hypothesis uh, h naught symbolical f1 x is equal to f2 y now to calculate to use the it is given that use a sign test so sign test means what you need to find out you, uh, you need to find out the differences di is equal to xi minus yi you need to calculate u will be the thing but minimum of positive comma negative signs and the test statistic will be z is equal to u minus expectation of u by root of variance of u follows n01 this is the procedure we are going to follow whenever mod z is less than z alpha by 2 we accept h0 whenever mod z greater than z alpha by 2 we reject h0 so what is z alpha by 2 means z alpha by 2 value is 1.96 at 5% level of significance alpha is called the level of significance this value is also fixed for all the tests which is nothing but z alpha by 2 is 1.96 means you need to calculate z z is dependent on u expectation of u and variance of u what is u u is nothing but minimum of positive and negative signs how do you get the minimum of positive and negative signs means you should calculate the signs so consider the two samples given to you i'll only consider the first five girls see you are given with two talent tests talent test one and talent test two so 130 these are the observations given to you on And so on, the last observation is starting from 133, 146. The last observation here is like 30 observations here given 181. And on talent test 2, the marks are 141, 151, 99, 145, 179, 161, 168 and the last here is 177. What you need to calculate? You need to calculate di is equal to xi minus yi. So identify the signs only 133 minus 144 which is nothing but negative, negative, positive, positive, negative. 
and the last one which we got as plus means for all the 30 samples you find out the differences and you write all those signs and after doing that I got the number of positive signs as I got number of positive signs as 9 and number of negative signs as with uh, n is given here 30 no remaining all are i got as negative signs so i have calculated the difference and i have observed that number of positive signs as 9 number of negative signs as 21 you will be minimum of positive comma negative signs which is nothing but minimum of 9 comma 21 which is nothing but 9 so we got u is equal to 9 we know that this u follows a binomial distribution with parameters n comma 1 by 2 so here u follows binomial this is 30 comma 1 by 2 what is z z formula is u minus expectation of u by root or variance of u follows n 0 1 what is e of u what is the formula for e of u n p which is nothing but n is here 30 into 1 by 2 which is nothing but 15 ok what is v of u n p q 30 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 which is nothing but 15 by 2 so z will be 9 minus 15 by root over 15 by which follows n01 which is equal to minus 2.191 I got z is equal to to compare you should take mod z which is nothing but 2.191 what is z alpha by 2 I said you this is 1.96 which is fixed you should compare mod z with z alpha by 2 I think mod z is greater than z alpha by 2 so what we are going to do we are going to reject the null hypothesis what is the null hypothesis here the null hypothesis here is nothing but the talents uh, of the students in the two tests are same so we are going to conclude that as we are going to reject the null hypothesis the talents of students in two tests are not same am I right if you are going to accept the null hypothesis you are going to write the same null hypothesis as we are going to reject the null hypothesis you should write reject means you should write the negative form of the H0 which is nothing but the talents of the students in the tests are not same okay thank you